Hi, my name is Perry Sessions from Mesa Digital Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to create and add a widget for a sidebar in your WordPress blog page. So I want to show you what that looks like after you um, get to that point. This is our website, Mesa Digital Marketing. We have a blog here, the big featured image, um, an area to subscribe, and then um, and I'm covering it up there with my image, but there's some related posts. We decided to add a little bit of custom styling to show the image uh, of the post and then the text and then some advertisement at the bottom for some hosting that we recommend. So um, these things have worked for us. Blogging works for uh, SEO and these work for people getting subscribed and, and finding out what else they want to read on your website. So we highly recommend using widgets and uh, widgets similar to this in your blog page especially. So let's show you how to get started. Okay, so after you've logged in, um, you're going to spend a lot of your time underneath appearances and then widgets. Um, and I've already got that open for us right here in another tab. And in our, yours could look different than mine depending on what theme you use. If you use the bridge theme or any of the, the themes from Mesa Digital Marketing that we install, you'll see a bunch of these kind of preset custom widget areas. Um, a widget area is, is just a, a base um, template to put in your widgets. So these, each of these that I'm hovering over are all different types of widgets. You can show pages, latest posts, um, you can just do plain uh, HTML. So we're going to just show you, we want to have a, a, a widget that shows a lot of things for inside of a blog post. So we'll call this widget something we can remember, um, blog inside page, or anything you want, and then add it. It should show up here as the most bottom here. So we're going to uh, if this will exit, obviously get rid of the thing we just created. This will toggle it down to show us the inside space. So we're going to click and drag our widget options. So we're going to want to have the latest posts in there. And we're also going to want to drag, um, let's see, let's do some of the search. So we'll click and drag that here. And yeah, that's going to be good on top. And then we're going to also want to have probably something like categories. If I can find that, there's some categories underneath the search. Um, and you could even put in things with the bridge theme like your Instagram widget. That would show the Instagram pages, uh, most recent posts you've had on your Instagram page if you connected that properly. So let's just stick with those three for now. And when you first put them in, they show all the options. Again, you can shrink it down for search. The only thing we really want in here is the title so to show people above the search bar. And then the categories, that same idea. And make sure to save when you're done. We didn't do that for this last one. Um, or it won't show the change. And then the latest posts. And there's a lot of options in here. So the number of posts to display, let's just put down three. And we can order them in different ways, but we'll save it like that. Actually, I'm going to add the tag cloud in here. So if we have um, different tags that we apply to our posts for SEO purposes, we can show that here. And then people can actually use that as a place to reference different posts or different types of posts. Okay. All right. So even though I added that widget, you'll notice if I refresh this page, nothing's going to show up because we still haven't added that, that widget area to the right location. Um, it's going to be different for every theme. If you use a different theme, you're going to have a different way to put it in. A lot of themes use appearance customize, but our, our bridge theme is going to be under the uh, code options. So we can either hover over that and select the options from here. There's blog, or you can click it and you'll see blog is an option in there as well. So here it is. And there is a lot, there are a lot of options with the blog setup and what to display. So I'm going to hit Command F or Control F on a PC to quickly find sidebar options because that's what we're doing. We're, we're using a sidebar as the, na the language in WordPress to add a widget and, uh, or a widget area. So we're going to do sidebar and I'm going to go more towards the bottom of the page. This is called blog single. That's the name of the inside of the blog post. And I'm going to have one third of the right side of the page be my sidebar. The reason that I use the right is because on mobile it will show, um, if you put the, uh, the widget or the sidebar on the left, it will show all your widgets first. And I don't want my readers for my blog post to have to go through all my 
um, latest posts and all that subscription, all those advertisements before they read things. So I want to have it towards the bottom. And that's why I do it on the right side. So let's go back to our options. And I want one third, not a fourth. I want it to be a little bit larger and um, plenty of room display. And now we collect which we select which widget area to show. So there it is, blog inside page. And if you don't see yours in here, maybe you had it open on the side, refresh this page and make sure to save your changes after you've selected it. Now let's go back to our post and refresh. Okay, since we've done it right here, it does show um, the search area, the titles, categories, there's just three of our latest posts and these they are clickable so people can click on them and get straight into another post. Um, and then tags, uh, we do have some assigned here automatically for the tag cloud. And if they click to that, it goes to other posts with those tags. So this is pretty good. I mean, you could do a lot of uh, custom CSS or styling to get it to look a certain way if you wanted to. Um, one bit of styling that I did do, and I can leave this in the description of the video, is the image. These uh, images for the theme seem to come out. The featured image does really large. If you like that, that's fine. Um, for sometimes when you optimize images, it doesn't look as good. So we did uh, just used a bit of custom CSS to shrink that image. Um, and I'll include this in the description if you want to add that to your custom code of your theme. So um, yeah, so that's very simply, that's how you add a uh, widget area to your sidebar, especially for your blog post. Hopefully that's helpful for you to, uh, today and, and we hope you liked the video. So thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next ones.